Hey guys, uh, long time no see. <laughs> I haven't made a video in quite some time, because I haven't really been playing Gary's Mod in quite some time, but I'm back into it for the time being, and I just kind of wanted to show you a good milestone for me. Uh, this is my first ACF-powered uh, all-fin aircraft. It's definitely not the first ACF-powered all-fin aircraft. There's been many of those before this, and many better ones before this. If you want to see a really good example of ACF powered fin aircraft, you should head over to Spider's channel. Uh, he makes some really good ones and has made some really good ones in the past. Uh, but this is the first ACF powered all fin aircraft I've made. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it because I was having a lot of trouble making these uh, in the past. Anyway, I'll just kind of go over what we've got here, uh, and then after I finish showing a flight test, I'll just kind of show uh, what my weights are and stuff, just for anyone who wants to try this on their own. Uh, first thing you'll notice is the engine layout is really weird. Um, that's because originally I was going to have a mid-engine uh, aircraft with a single prop, sort of like the P-39. If you want an example of that. Uh, however, the single prop wasn't quite working for me, and I decided for my first aircraft, especially without a rudder, uh, I should use uh, counter rotating propellers so then I don't have to have any torque issues. Because, you know, a, a real, a real uh, airplane, if you don't uh, know about this, let's pretend this is a real airplane flying forward. When you turn on the propeller when you first start, just like a helicopter, say the propeller is spinning this way the plane would want to tilt this way, right? Uh, so when you take off, it basically will start veering off the runway this way. Uh, if you play any flight sims with single uh, propeller aircraft, combat flight simulators, anything, uh, you'll notice that and you'll have to counter this rotation with your rudder. Then uh, once you get in the air, it kind of equalizes and you'll go straight. And But one way to counter that is to have counter-rotating propellers, much like the P-38 Lightning, which had uh, dual counter-rotating propellers. So, you know, it's a dream to fly because there wasn't that torque effect. So, yeah, this propeller spins uh, this way, counterclockwise, and this one spins clockwise. Uh, enough of that. Um, you know, then we've got, you know, just a basic undercarriage that is axis-centered to... Uh, uh, the base prop, which weighs 300, uh, 15 is not a high enough weight to support uh, this much weight, but due to the weights and stuff, I didn't care. So I'd recommend making your wheels heavier and uh, sacking the weight somewhere else. Each propeller weighs 150, I believe. No, that, I believe that's actually the wing that weighs 150. Each propeller weighs 75. Yeah, that's that seems more like it because I don't remember making weigh 150. So each propeller weighs 75, and the uh, propeller spindle weighs 100, which is pretty basic. Uh, the uh, propellers are physical property to be weightless, and I believe their fin values are 200%. You can type in fin values, and that's no lift on those. And then uh, you know, then these this is just the uh, differential small with a final drive of 0.2 and uh, gear 1 is 0.5. This could probably be tweaked better, but I don't really care at this point. Um, then we've got our uh, elevators, which weigh 25 each. Uh, vertical stabilizer weighs 30 to support the elevators. I think this got 70 no lift, and these have... I have no idea. I think it's like 40. I don't really care. Uh, the hydraulic on these back elevators is linked up in the front here and then it goes up to the top here. I found the longer your hydraulic, the more stability you have on your hydraulic. Uh, so you don't have to mess with the constants and values as much because a longer hydraulic is going to have more leverage against a prop. That's the same reason why these uh, fixed points for these aileron hydraulics are so tall. Just because of that, you can make all this crap invisible so it doesn't really matter. We've got a uh, one degree dihedral, which I kind of, in Gary's mod it doesn't quite act like it should, so I don't know if that's necessarily that beneficial for this, especially because the way the propellers work. Um, 
Now we've also got a 40 pound counterweight on the nose. The counterweights were giving me some big problems because of the weight of the engines. Even though they're in the middle to counteract this, it's getting some problems. So there's actually going to be a uh, positive angle of attack. You can't see it right now. Now you can, just a slight angle of attack change on these back things to keep the nose up when you take off. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else that you need to know. Just get your weights right, and uh, you'll get a good flyer. A major, major problem with this is these propellers come very close to the ground. Uh, even when you're like taking off and you're uh, parallel to the ground, your propellers come extremely close to hitting the ground uh, because they're so far back. Originally, this plane was designed to have them on the front, so that's a major problem. Um, but that's life, so you'll have to figure that out in your design. Also, a little tip that I can tell you about these is, uh, you know how when you spin a prop, like, really fast, right? Uh, this is glitching out because of this, but, um, you spin a prop really fast. It goes flying up around and, like, all over the place. If you parent the prop, it won't do that. You have to weld it first, then parent it, then it'll treat the welded prop like it's still there. Uh and then the parented prop won't fly around. Ideally, you'd want to parent to a chip. I didn't do that here. Um, I don't even know if parenting to a chip but uh, screw it. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, Nick decided to call me. I don't really care. Anyway, let's take this thing off. Okay, so you notice I hit shift. It doesn't really work, but that doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage the clutch. <laughs> yes, I have to engage the clutch. This is just, my gearing's just bad. Uh, increase engine to red line, release the clutch. We get a little jump there, and then we'll slowly accelerate. Tail's already off the ground. Lean back a little bit, or airborne. Engines are screaming. We've got counter-rotating props. They actually look like they're rotating. Uh, in the opposite direction they are right now because we're recording at 30 frames a second but uh, that's no big deal it's perfectly controllable it's definitely not very high performing <laughs> but uh, you know it's just black and white design we're actually flying really flat right now there's no trim control, no throttle control uh, no rudder control so, this thing's flying quite well, considering all of that. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, hopefully anyone who watched this found this video helpful or interesting. Uh, you should go check out Spider's videos if you want a really good ACF-powered airplane. But, if I can do it, it's definitely possible, so... <laughs> so, uh, give it a shot if you want to. We'll go ahead and bring it in for a landing. I'm not too happy with the amount of uh, fin power I used on these wings because it does float a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's definitely worse, so we're just going to land this way because I don't care. Anyway, see ya.